G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, I'm pushing on with the LPG similar based furnace. As you can see, I've got uh, the pivot point in there, so I can pivot that way. And I've got some extensions I've put on the lid, angle line, and then I'll run brackets across so I can pivot it this way. If we look inside, you, you can see what's happening. So that's just basically any line, stick welded on. I haven't cleaned it up yet, I've still got to grind it back. So, uh, yeah, it's just made it up out of scrap. But it's working out okay. So this goes on, this goes on here. Like so. And then we're going to have a pivot shaft come through here and on each end we'll have a plate like that and they will weld on the outside of the angle line like so on each end and that will be a vertical pivot so you can see the pivot points above the centre line that way it will give a direct lift it won't try and cant back which could be an issue, so you know if you do this, yeah, get your pivot point up a bit, and that way it'll just uh, swing the whole thing straight up. So now I've just got to weld on this bracket. I'm doing it all with the, st with the AC stick welder because I'm, trying to, I'm a much better AC welder than a DC welder, believe me, and uh, even on thin stuff I can handle it pretty well with AC. So uh, yeah, we're getting there. So I'll weld this on and uh, we'll move along. Right, so it now pivots back. And it swings. So I can get it into the crucible, no worries. Just rest it there. And I could actually put a stop on here, like to stop it going back up past vertical. So I might even weld that on, I think. So yeah, the whole thing's going to be friggin' awesome. I'll put a handle on here to grip it and just pull it up. Not bad for a bit of junk, eh? And, uh, yeah, I'll have to machine up a spacer here and here. I actually did shorten this section here, thinking it was going to be too long. It did need shortening, but I cut out a bit more than that. So, anyway, a couple of spacers in there won't matter, and it'll help it to pivot better. I have got washers that uh, will go on the ends. Yeah, cool banana. This is turning out I okay. Really, really good. And everything, everything's lining up spot on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I'll turn up these spacers next. Right, the spacers are done. And now everything's a good fit. Right, well, I've got a tab on there to restrict it. So it goes back and... How's that? So that's the angle, so it's just a bit off a vertical. I could grind a bit, a bit more off of it if I want to. That seems to be alright. Yeah, I might. I might take a bit more off maybe, get it back just a bit more. Yeah. Right, well this is a bit of 
steel that's left over from doing those spaces. And there's the parting off blade I use, the old world's cheapest and best parting off blade, I think. Works for treat. Look that up in the old videos. And this, rather than waste it, I'll just drill a hole, tap it, and it'll be a uh, lock collar for the end of the shaft, the pivot shaft. So rather than use a split pin or anything like that, I'll just put a little lock collar on it. So we'll do that. Now here's a tip for you, if you're ever parting off short pieces like this, and I mean that's steel too, and it's just gripping on the end of the jaws, use your tail stop with a live centre in it, or a pipe centre if it's a bigger diameter thing. And that will steady it, you won't have any problems in whatsoever, so you can, you know, do the job. Also, when you're machining tubular like this, put some dunny paper up the centre of your, your chuck and that will stop all the crap, or most of the crap, from getting into the scroll and screwing things around. So there's a couple of tips for you. All right, moving on. Right, well, I'll use a 5 mil Allen header bolt in this little collar. We're going to drill it with the... Uh, a little uh, drilling head. So let's do it. I've spotted it already. It's a 4.3 drill. Amazing how much power this little motor puts out. I mean, it did that absolutely dead easy. Quite incredible, really. I use this all the time. It's so handy. I mean, it's it's really, really good. Okay, I'll tap a thread in that, and then we'll put it together. Oh, there she is, all ready to go on. And we can just uh, tighten her up, whatever position we want. It's nice and unobtrusive. Everything pivots and does what it's supposed to do. And the, the rest works great, the stop works great. So I think that'll leave me for today. I'll cut this off later. Um, I'll leave it for now because I'm going to uh, put some wheels on this and a handle. So I'm not sure, you know. I mean, leave it till the very end before you cut stuff off because you never know, you might want to use it to hook something over or who knows what. So, anyway, yeah. That's it for me for the day. I hope you enjoyed it, got something out of it. And it's really starting to come together now. We're uh, well on the way. Okay, must be time for a beer. I'll see you next time. Cheers.